The next stitch is an isolated stitch called the colonial knot. And I like these to add little bits of dimension. Um, they're good for centers of flowers. I'm gonna bring my needle up and now my left hand, I'm right-handed, so my left hand is holding the thread, my right hand is holding the needle. I'm gonna take my needle hand and I take it through the thread. So I'm making a backwards C, taking my needle right through that C, and then with my thread hand, I'm taking the thread over and under the needle. So I have a figure eight, and then I'm gonna hold the tension with this hand as I take the needle back down, not in the exact spot that I came out of, but it's right next to it, very close. And then as I'm holding the tension, which is super important, I'm pulling the needle and thread through the fabric. And now I can let go because there's my first colonial knot. So another one, I'm bringing my needle up. I'm gonna make a backward C. You wanna make sure that the C the thread is coming down below. You don't want it to be, sometimes people make the C and the thread is up this way and that will mess your stitch up. So you want the, oops, the thread to come below the C, okay? So there's my backward C. I take my needle through it, hold the tension, take it over and under the needle, keep holding that tension now. As you take your needle, right down and through. And at that point, I just gently let the thread loose and it, it all goes into place. So I'm gonna do one more here. Bring my needle up. There's my backward C. My needle goes right through it. I take my thread over and under the needle Hold that tension, take it down, and then you can let go and pull through. And that is a colonial knot.